There's quite a lot of shows I'm looking forward to. Um, I think there's some ones I'm really looking forward to seeing back. So that would be Fascinating Aida, who I absolutely love. I always um, find them very, very funny. Um, Sandy Toxvig and her show, My Valentine, which we had last year. It was a complete sellout. Um, it was a fantastic show, really, really funny. Um, so I think that will be great. Um, and there's some new people in the mix as well who we've never had before. So Mary Berry, um, I'm a, I do like a bit of baking. I'm more, always been more of a Delia person myself, but I'm really looking forward to seeing Mary Berry. I'm picking up some tips there. Um, and then we've got some great comedians coming as well. So Reginald D. Hunter, I'm looking forward to. And um, just in time for Christmas as well. Um, a personal favourite of mine is uh, Miracle on 34th Street, the film. Um, we've got the musical coming for four performances. Uh, it should be pretty spectacular, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Well, the festival, and this is a first for Yeovil and a first for us, is uh, a partnership between ourselves and Waterstones in Yeovil and the Yeovil Community Arts Association, the YCAA. Uh, so the three of us have joined forces working together. Uh, Waterstones have uh, been bringing some hugely high profile names to Yeovil um, to their store for book signings and meeting and greeting, um, uh, some of which we've hosted here. Um, the festival kind of um, brings together some of those big well-known names. Um, we've already announced Michael Mapurgo, who is the former children's laureate and is probably best known for writing War Horse, um, which you know, has gone on to a blockbuster film and kind of the National Theatre version, both in the West End and on Broadway, um, is just an amazing production. But it all started with his book, and he's uh, uh, a very important figure for schools. Um, then we've also got Jeremy Hardy, who will be closing the festival, uh, one of my favourite comics and a kind of Radio 4 favourite. Um, there's lots of other kind of writers, thinkers, um, coming as part of the festival. Uh, they'll be both here at the Octagon Theatre and with our friends over at the Manor Hotel, just over the road. Um, we're finalising the programme at the moment, so um, that's all coming together really, really well and I think the festival itself will be a really, really nice and exciting couple of days. Um, we've always had kind of a um, strong programme of writers and thinkers that have come as kind of standalone events and over the years we've had kind of, you know, successful, you know, George Alagaya, um, Tony Benn, um, Hannah Gordon and various other kind of you know writers and thinkers and they're always really really popular events that go down really really well. Um, I think you know we are the home of the YCA, they have their prose cafes here, we work really really well with Waterstones and host some of their events and so kind of the three of us working together um, I think we could achieve a really really exciting event, bring some really exciting events to Yeovil, um, bring a new audience in as well um, and also highlight the work that's going on with the YCAA. Yes, uh, I, I'm back, uh, I'm pleased to say, uh, as head judge, so I'm excited about that. Um, Antonia Burt is back representing the Western Gazette. Um, Antonia used to work for Sony BMG, so in terms of the context that she has and also the experience that she brings from a music industry perspective um, is kind of second to none. Um, and I think that's a kind of really exciting opportunity for um, budding singers and bands and groups to not only get kind of um, the advice and support from Antonia, but also to get in front of um, her and, and be seen. Um, and then our third judge uh, this year is um, BBC Somerset Emma Britton, um, who we've, um, you know, I've worked uh, closely with, been on her show numerous times, and um, she's great. And in terms of, again, that Somerset personality, someone that knows Somerset so well, is incredibly passionate about Somerset, um, and I think she'll be great fun and a great addition to the panel. Um, I'm very, very passionate about dance, so I look forward to the dance elements of the programme very much and I'm really, really delighted that earlier this year we got our first Arts Council funding which is to support and develop the dance programme here at the Octagon, which I think is really important. But one of the things I love about the Octagon is, is the variety of shows that we have. Um, it's kind of it's such an exciting place to be because you've got something different happening every single night and so that variety I think is, is kind of um, really special and really important to me. Um, oh, we've got an exciting cast this year for, for Snow White. Um, 
We're delighted we've got Eddie Dredge coming back to us. Audiences uh, will remember him playing Dandini in Cinderella, so he's pl back playing the, the comic role. Um, we've we kind of discovered a, a bit of a star last year, one of our dancers, um, Victoria McCabe, um, and um, our operations manager, Sean, and the technicians, and Catherine, um, heard her practicing in the auditorium and kind of ran through to my office and said, you've got to come and see this girl, she's, she's amazing. Um, so we did, she sang, um, and she was uh, absolutely wonderful and kind of had that perfect kind of Disney princess look. So she is back this year and playing our Snow White, so I'm um, very, very excited about that. Um, yeah, it's going to be a terrific cast. We recently went down to London and did auditions for The Prince. Um, very, very thrilled with the kind of West End quality cast that we've got put together. I mean, last year's um, Aladdin went down an absolute storm. Um, the ticket sales were through the roof and kind of the reviews and comments from our patrons were exceptional and I think this year is going to be even better. Um, well it's our busiest time of year um, so you've got kind of already that buzz but I think it's the kind of it's the festive season you've got friends and family coming together um, to kind of celebrate Christmas, celebrate being together and the pantomime is one of those shows that everybody can enjoy. You know, there's comedy, there's loads of music and laughter, um, a bit of magic, um, some romance. And so it's one of those shows that everybody, all the family can come together um, and enjoy. And I think that's what makes Panto so special and also so popular. Um, again, it comes back to, I think, variety. Um, that's the strength of the programme, I think. Um, is having a, something in there that anybody could pick up our brochure and find a show that they would want to go and see. Um, I think that's what's important to me and that's what I try and get when I'm programming is something for everyone. Um, you always want something new, something to keep people excited and also some of those old favourites that people like revisiting and, and coming back to see time and again. Um, but it's about variety, it's about having a strong mix and uh, as I say something in there that everyone would want to see.